Hi, this is Movies Suck. I just wanted to quickly cover this story that I found on msn.com. Um, this is from The Wrap, apparently. I just wanted to cover this story because we give Disney a really bad rap most of the time. Disney has done nothing but mostly destroy Star Wars, and it's been really depressing for a while. And they've done, you know, other stuff, which is pretty bad. But in this case, I want to congratulate Disney on doing something that was actually quite meaningful. A really good thing to have done for once. So, without further ado, let's read the article. Disney screens Rise of Skywalker early for dying Star Wars fan. That picture of Mark Hamill there. It says, Disney has bumped up the debut of Rise of Skywalker for a terminally ill man whose dying wish was to see the latest Star Wars film with his son. The man, whose name hasn't been shared, is a patient at Rowan's Hospice in Hampshire, UK. The hospice tweeted its cry for help on Tuesday, saying, The man is a huge Star Wars fan, but sadly, time is not on his side for the movie's 20th of December debut. Disney chief Bob Iger responded the same day, so good on him, really quick response. and He said, We will certainly try. Man, this gives you a warm feeling. Whilst Disney is a huge money-making machine that feels like it doesn't give a shit about anyone except how much money they can squeeze out of you, this goes to show that once in a while, even the people you think are just heartless bastards can show that there's something in there. So I got followed up on Thursday tweeting, Disney was indeed able to make the man's wish come true. On this Thanksgiving, we at Disney are grateful to be able to share the rise of Skywalker with a patient and his family from the Rowan's Hospice. Iger tweeted, May the Force be with you, and with us all. This is just such a good story. It's actually nice to be able to say something good about Disney. I'm really, really pleased about this. I mean, I'm going to slam the hell out of them over the film, but this is just such a good story. Such a nice thing for them to do. I mean, we all remember the debacle over um, Spider-Man and that poor boy's grave. It's just so nice for a company like Disney to do something like this. And for a fellow Englishman. Anyway, the tweet was retweeted more than a thousand times with Iger receiving a, a response from someone claiming to be a dear friend of the dying man. Bless you. You've made a dying man go with style. If we ever meet, I'll give you the biggest hug. Top man. The man tweeted at Iger. Rowan's Hospice also thanked Iger for the kind gesture. Mr. Iger, I wish we had the words to sum up what it means to the patient, the family, and us, the hospice said in a reply tweet to Iger. And healthcare worker Lisa Davies, who works at the hospice, alerted the clinic to the patient's final wish and said in a statement she was utterly speechless. The response from everyone, including the Star Wars community, has been absolutely phenomenal over the last few days, Davies said. So a massive thank you to every single person that has shared our post and given their time to make this possible. It's just such a good story. I'm really, really pleased about this. This is just a very quick video, just to say that Disney is obviously not all bad. This is Movie Sucks signing out, and may the force be with you.